In this segment, we'll talk about how you can add additional information to the design's properties when you save it to help you later on to understand, you know, things about why you created that design or what its purpose was. And so that's all found under your file drop down menu for design properties. And when I click on design properties, I get a window and I could enter in here, you know, that I was the designer or maybe you share with your mom or maybe you work in a team environment where there's several people that work together and so you can keep track of the designer. You could add keywords. So looking at this, I could put in phonograph, I could put in leaves, I could put in flowers. And those might be helpful words that would help me find it later. I could put in paint because I know I'm going to use my drawing tools. Um, I could put in the remarks. I, I created this for Uncle Bob's you know, special record collection club or whatever. It's been made for use with the drawing tools. Um, this is the stabilizer that I used, or these are the fabrics that were selected. So you can keep track of details within the design and they get saved with it. Um, now, that's the general tab. There's also an optimizer tab, and this is more of a of a uh, set of tools that would give you, you know, effect over the designs. And this kind of, they relate to different techniques. So for example, there's a frame out distance when you're doing applique, how far will we frame out? And when you're doing um, embroidery, how far in between the objects before we use the trimmer? And when you're doing cross stitch, how far in between the cross stitch segments before using a trimmer? And when you're doing crystals, you know, what's the crystal cut offset and what's the minimum spacing? And so these are all, I guess, settings, you know, when doing embroidery, what's the optimization strategy? Um, you know, so there's some check boxes on off for endpoints at closest connection. So we can kind of learn about these specific purposes as we go through some of the different techniques. But in general, your design properties box is a way that you can adjust these settings or add more details to be saved with your design. And that'll be specific to this, this phonograph design that I've got, you know, open when I say, when I add that and then I choose save. Now I've added that, you know, my name as the designer of this embroidery design for later, you know, reference. So imagine that you've created hundreds or even thousands of designs. Those keywords might come in handy to, to find what you're looking for. So that's what the designs properties. And again, it's found under file design properties.